Stewart? Yes. As I've become familiar with this meditation, and as you've often discussed, it's about receiving the energy to develop the chakra system. In the past, you've talked about the double breathing, focusing below the navel and having gratitude in one's heart. I was wondering if there were other suggestions that you had to receive this energy during the day or outside of the meditation and or rather, is it about allowing, relaxing and trusting? Uh, you've answered your own question. I mean, what... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, it's about allowing and letting and trusting and opening your heart, being grateful for your life. It's also about patience because it takes time to build an inner life that allows you to do this kind of thing. I mean, you've got to realize that anyone who comes here to do this meditation, they come with a lifetime of baggage, you know, and uh, uh, this meditation is about, you know, transforming all of that baggage that people carry around with them into a spiritual life. This takes time, it takes a lot of time. It takes classes, it takes working on yourself, it takes reminding yourself during the day what you're doing here, sitting down a couple of times a day and just dropping tension by letting your arms drop at your side takes a lot of things that have to be a consistent reminder of the purpose of all of this. And above everything, you have to have patience. You know, somebody sent me an email uh, yesterday and asked me if you can have a connection with God without self-worth. And I, you know, of course had to respond that it's impossible. But most people spend so much time in their heads and they're down on themselves. They find the negativity very easily inside. They find, certainly find the negativity in the world without having to look very far. And uh, it creates kind of a dismal image of oneself. And I'm not talking about, you know, ego self or charismatic self or personality. I'm talking about that worthiness of serving God, serving higher energy in the universe, being a child of God. And, you know, people have to overcome lifetimes of stuff they've done to themselves in order to do this. The meditation's purpose is to help a person learn how to do this and to build a chemistry inside that is strong enough to transform that negativity into energy that truly is nurturing energy inside oneself. Love, self-worth, forgiveness, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, it's the key to this is patience. The key to this is remembering that an apple has to ripen on the tree in order for it to be delicious. If you pick it too early, it's going to be sour. Most people want to be picked too early, you know, and they haven't arrived yet in a place of themselves where they truly have ripened. They've come into fruition. And that takes time. It takes patience. It takes work on oneself. And frankly, in the development of a spiritual life, time is irrelevant. It could take 10 years, which seems like a huge amount of time, or it could take 150 lifetimes, which is really a huge amount of time, you know? Time is irrelevant. It is doing it every day, working, growing every day, changing every day, opening every day, building an inner life every day. And, you know, 10 years in terms of cosmic and universal energy is like the blinking of an eye. 
20 years, 50 years, you know, it's, it's nothing. And it depends on what we do at that time. Do we use it to develop a spiritual life? Or do we run around like most people, you know, going around in circles and trying to find answers where there are no answers and, you know, beating themselves up because life has so much negativity in it, you know? I mean, it depends on how you use time. I learned years ago that my use of time has to be in the development of a spiritual life. I mean, even when I had 150 things to do every day, you know, I mean, it was always around the development of a spiritual life, even business and money and relationships. And it had to do with me learning from those situations what I had to do to continue to grow inside myself. So patience is really the key. You know, I always, you know, look, I've said this a hundred times, I'll say it again. You know, one of the greatest aphorisms I ever heard about this subject was came from the mouth of Rudy, where he said it takes nine months to have a baby and one second to die. If you're impatient and you try to do it in six months, you know, not going to be very good. You have to learn to wait and allow the spiritual work inside yourself to mature, to develop, to ripen. And then you literally give birth to yourself. Thank you. You're welcome. Does anyone else have a question you would like to ask? I remember once I'd been studying with my teacher for maybe six, eight months and he was sitting in his gallery, you know, he used to have an Asian art gallery. And I walked in there and I started telling him about this great spiritual experience I had. And he just smiled. He was sitting with somebody, he said, the schmuck thinks he's having a spiritual life. He said, how long have you been doing this? I said, oh man, eight months. And he said, I've, Stuart, I've been doing this 36 years. I haven't arrived yet. <laughs> have patience, it comes in time, you know? And having not arrived is really the essence of it because as long as you're working to grow, you're connecting profoundly with what energy that is infinite in the universe. And none of us are perfect. I don't care how long you work on yourself, there's always gonna be imperfection. The imperfection, as I've also said a lot, is necessary because it reminds us to have patience and to allow you know, the lotus flower to emerge out of muddy water. Does anyone else have a question they would like to ask? Okay, if there are no more questions, there will be meditation on Thursday. I, again, as I always kind of end this, I'm very grateful and thankful to all of you for being here, for participating in this. I mean, your presence here is truly a blessing for me. It really forces me to work in such depth on myself, you know, in order to be of service, you know, to a higher force of energy. So God bless you all. And and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing everyone on Thursday. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. Bye.